Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are all fine. Welcome back to our English grammar class. And the topic which we were concentrating, the topic is prepositions. Whereas in the previous classes of ours, we were discussing about the using of to, for, of, on, in, and at. In today's class, we are going to concentrate towards have to use or during what situation we need to use can, could, and may. Most of the time, these three we are using for asking questions or in interrogative form we are utilizing it. So let's concentrate during what situation or with whom when we are talking what prepositions we have to use. The can when we need to use, could when and during what situation we have to use. Then again may when we are talking usually with the elders or some respectable people by the time we are using it out whether it is correct or not those are all the things that we will concentrate but before moving ahead i just want to calculate the things in a different angle how in a sense the can we will divide or we can call it as informal prepositions could we can call it as a semi-formal then again may we can call it as a formal so hope you might be remembering about the formal words or informals see the informal and the formal these two things are familiar for us when we are writing the letters and all by the time we have taught you very clearly what is the informal letter and what is the formal letter so this formal letters we can call it as official letters when we are writing to any unknown person or when we are writing it to any respectable person when we are writing it to any uh, the more highly prestigious persons when we are talking or when we are writing by the time we can use it as a formal way then informal manner or informal letters or informal way of talking we can use it only during the family members when we will be with the family members or when we will be with the friends okay then semi formal it means what it will be neither the formal nor even informal in between when you will be with your colleagues or when you will be with your co-workers with whom you are working, with whom you are spending the time, minimum for four hours, five hours you are spending the time and afterwards you will be depart from that area. So when you will be spending your time with your co-workers with respectful you are talking but not that much of a highly respect way. So there we are using it as a semi-formal. So similar way, these three propositions are divided into three different types. Can, we can call it as a informal way of talking because maximum time we are using the can when we will be with our families when we'll be with our brothers when we'll be with our sisters when we'll be with our friends by the time we are using the things that i can i take this can you give me the pen such kind of the words we are using okay uh, hey, can, can I lend you some money? So such all the words it will come out because we are talking with our friends. So the tone will be quite different itself. So could we are using as I have told you when we'll be with our co-workers and all. Could you please uh, lend me a pen? So, so you can understand the tone variations here. Hey, can I give you a pen? Okay, can I take your pen? So such all the words we are using, even the pen will be there in the pocket and we are keeping our hand in the pocket and we are asking him, can I take you a pen? So just formally we are asking him that can I take you a pen, but almost we have taken his pen. So because it's a friendly nature and moreover he is our family, so therefore we are having the right over that. So during that time when we will be with our families, when we will be with our friends or when we will be with most closest of friends, so by the time we can use can okay then could we can use during the time when we'll be with our co-workers neither the that much of a close nor even that much of a, the distant one so with such kind of the people we are using could 
if you are going to the restaurant oftenly if you are visiting to the same restaurant so then the waiter comes to in front of you and he will ask you the things that uh, so what can i bring for you he'll ask you these questions then your you your reply may be that could you please get me a glass of water you you don't know him you you may not be knowing his name but facial recognition will be there you are remembering him or you can recognize him because of the reason you have oftenly visited to the restaurant so due to that reason you have remembered his face you recognized his face and he has recognized your face therefore he has come in front of you and your reply is very quite natural you are asking him could you please get me a glass of water it's not an order it's not an urging the things it's just a kind of a request but not that much of a deepest request also hope you are understanding then may we are using when we will be with our official members like as a headmasters the principals it may be that the district commissioners or if you are talking with any higher authority person so so by the time we are using may so let's concentrate how we can utilize this may and form uh, may then can and could let's concentrate most of the time my dear friends can and could these two contains all the pronouns like as i we can use for this can then again you you can use can can i take your pen okay next to you can you uh, give, give me your pen uh, see quick uh, can you give me your pen so such all the things will come out we can we go to the school then again they can they play the questions will come out then he can he do it she can she do it it can it do it so such all the manner we can use can and even the could also we can use for all the prepositions so i mean to say i we you they he she it all the seven pronouns can be used as well, we can use here can and even we can use a could also but the matter comes about the may when we have to use or which pronouns contains for the may that we have to think so my dear children may we have to use only during the two pronouns when we are using that so we can call it as a first person so that's i and we may i come in may we go out i cannot say that uh, may he come in may she come in may it come in may you come in may they come in we cannot say these all the things here yeah. so may it can be most of the time 99.999% i can say that we have to use when we are talking with our elders or highly respected persons uh, may as a uh, may as the word we have to use out and uh, may we are using only for the first person so that i and we except these two the other pronouns cannot come under the may so whereas can and could these two can contain all the pronouns uh, i we you he she it and they hope you are understanding so we will go with one example which uh, through which we can change in all the three forms also for example can here the sentence it is given i have some orange juice if i am using this sentence then it will become as a assertive sentence directly you can understand here i have some orange juice but in front of this i if you are using can then it will become interrogative how huh? can i have some juice can i have some juice with our family we are asking the questions if you are asking the question to your sister brother or to your family or to your friends then you can ask him can i have some juice the tone variations you can see because here in this we can find some demand we can make demand only with our families not with any unknown persons okay if you are uh, traveling by the bus and all and the conductor will be unknown to you then you cannot ask him that uh, hey can you give me a ticket you cannot ask these things we can say that could you please give me a ticket that's fine or you can say that uh, may i get a ticket such all the things you can use out my dear children okay so can i have some juice we are urging we are demanding to our family and our friends next could i have some juice so this is semi formal 
so our tone it will be quite reduced to quite polite one can i have some juice here there is no politeness if i am asking it in a semi uh, formal manner could i have some juice could i have some juice so the tone it will be get reducing because i am talking to a person to whom i know but not that much of close okay next uh, may i have some juice so it means i am asking it to the any respected person almost all the people are the respected only but this person to whom we are using the may he might be a higher position rather than us or he might be a quite respectful one in the society or whatever the things are there so more politing manner we are using most politely or maximum respect to whom we are giving there we can use the go uh, there we can use the word may may I, may i have some juice so such kind of the things will come out see can i have some orange juice could i have some orange juice may i have some orange juice so such all the things are there my dear children hope you are understanding the prepositions like as uh, can could and may where we have to use in next class we will continue with the other things and uh, hopefully that in the tomorrow's classes of ours so we will go with the lessons and uh, so far whatever the grammar topics are there which are related to your sslc and uh, which are related to your examinations and all almost all the grammar topics we have covered so far except letter writing remaining all have completed in next class of us we'll go with the lessons so please stay safe at your home thank you